And look, I'm a nice guy. You guys saw my video. I don't want to do this. I think this is gross. And Viking said, fuck that. Let's just throw all of this over the side of the mountain. You know, like littering in a, in a national park. But just to let you guys know, this is a warning shot, and I do not send two. Don't tell no lies about me, Dogpack, and Rosanna. And I won't tell no truths about six or seven of you guys over there. Uh, it's it's a nice day to uh, be a YouTuber, right? God damn. No, uh, hi. Once again, this video is gonna talk about Jake Whittle, a good person that doesn't deserve what he's getting. And Jake Whittle was the person that was in the dog pack uh, video series about Mr. Beast, where he talks about how mistreated he was and how bad Mr. Beast's team behaved against the employees. This man was a writer for Mr. Beast for, uh, I don't know, but long enough to get therapist. Mr. Beast is a shitty person. He, it's disgusting uh, to uh, talk about uh, how uh, how how he behaves. His teams are dumping trash, doing this, doing that, doing that. He's such a shitty person. It's annoying that he's getting money for this. Uh, but anyway, Jake Whittle is a good person, and he has recently uploaded a video talking about uh, everything he has to say and uh, such thing as uh, Jake the Viking, uh, Viking. Jake the Vi Viking, yay. Yeah, Jake the Viking is a former Mr. Beast employee that is a transphobic little shit and a person that likes to uh, likes to take the lazy way and dump trash in uh, into nature. Every employee and former employee, everyone's corporate scum. I hate it. I fucking hate it. It's not even corporate anymore. It's just scum on a daily basis. <sighs> but here, uh, yay, Jake. Not Jack, as I said in my uh, last video. Um, Jack Whittle. Yay, is the most funny. I'm gonna glaze him right here. Uh, he's a funny man. Funny man that uh, likes to talk about what he has on the dome. Jake Whittle has every right to be mad about Mr. Beast and his treatment of him, but uh, he's just he's just sad about it. Uh, as for Dog Pack recent video, uh, he's open and honest and cries, and I, I like that of a person that just can cry in front of a camera, and I don't understand. I Mr. Beast deserves more hate than this. It's... I, I want him dead. The ban button isn't enough. I want to kill him. Uh, kind of uh, feeling right now. Uh, Jake here is, is a very good person, as I said. I'm gonna glaze him. It's disgusting. No, but uh, for Jake here, he's, uh, he talks a lot about uh, how everyone loved him as a person in the Dogpack video and how much support he has. And I like that. I fucking love that he's getting support. But it's also like many people said, uh, does he like him crying? And that group, part of people that hates, he just japs on. I I like when uh, people jab on because they have something to say and it's not fake. Uh, but I'm, just, I'm I'm being a little hypocrite. I I cut my uh, pauses in my uh, sentences. Your attention span doesn't go away. Speaking of Jake here, he talks about that how he doesn't like when people like say important stuff happens at insert timestamp. I can agree with Jake here. It's just disgusting. That's all, folks. Because people doesn't have the attention span to like listen to a 50 minute video. I hate that. I mean, YouTube is supposed to be long videos, uh, and YouTube Shorts and TikToks have made that impossible because everything now what I needs to be fast paced, and that content is just ass. It's funny because it's said in America that uh, people's IQ are becoming worse, and I think that's because of uh, a low attention span. If you have a low attention span, you don't like to listen to stuff much, and books become very oh this is boring, and you, people can have different IQ, but that can depend because you're naturally gift that I'm born with a high IQ where you can build up your IQ such as reading, studying etc. You can get that information in your head and get more wise but because of attention spans now are very low uh, people don't like to uh, study that much. I mean the school system is just ass. I mean students aren't aren't good at uh, studying I mean that can be because of uh, mental health issues yes but that also because low attention span. People don't like to read as much uh, or uh, study as they did like 20 years ago because of social media uh, where, was, where was i going uh right um Jake here is, he continues talking about how uh, in the dog pack video he likes to joke around when he's talking about that serious situation regarding Mr. Beast and people take that as he doesn't take it seriously. Comedy is subjective. People like to cope with serious stuff. That's something I do very much because uh, because it's, it, it helps me as I said, cope with it. And uh, people say that he discredited him, but I don't think that. He, he's just funny man. He's, he's just a stand-up comedian. Uh, I've seen his work. As I said, it's, it's funny as fuck. 
Uh, for the most of the video, he just talks about stuff such as how uh, comedians use serious stuff, joke about it. I mean, uh, Jon Stewart here, he is a stand-up comedian. I think I, I don't uh, watch, I don't know the guy, but I take I take Jake Weddle's word as uh, God's words, yay. But he talks about Jon Stewart, a comedian that came into a uh, court or Supreme Court, I don't know, to talk about how uh, first responders aren't getting medical treatment 18 years later. And uh, he, he, this comedian stands up for it and it shows people who do comedy can actually take serious stuff and do that at the same time. And I must say, Geek Whittle is very charismatic. He's, he's very, like, uh, good with words uh, and, he's, he, and he can make people laugh. I mean, he made me laugh most of the video, even though he's talking about serious stuff such as transphobic people and dumb, stupid, silly YouTubers who uh, likes to do war crimes and hate people and, and is so out of touch with people. He's, he's like Jeff Bezos. Mr. Beast has become a rich person laughing kind of guy. Oh, you you are poor. You are poor. <laughs> Jake Whittle here deserves more love. He needs to have an audience because he tells the truth. He tells the truth. He tells the truth very good. And uh, Jake Whittle also talks about Pizza Mike, who is a comedian that uh, was in a recent Mr. Beast video. When we were doing that Grandfather Mountain video, I was the director on that video. Was Pizza Mike fake? Kind of. But Pizza Mike was the funniest thing to come out of the writer's room, and that still made it in, okay? Pizza Mike is a comedian who used to work at Domino's. He still had the uniform. And was it a bit? Yes, it was. I believe it was the, like, he was a pizza guy on Climbing a Mountain. That, uh, behind those scenes, he had a friend, a very good friend, and he talks about something about that. I, I, I'm so god that my attention span is so low, I should shut the fuck up because I forgot everything he said in the video. I need to like, yeah, watch a video as I'm recording this. No, but uh, he had this uh, friend behind the scenes query. They did stuff. He also got uh, injured from that Grandfather Mountain video. Uh, Jake was a director for that video and he talks about how when everything was done and Mr. Beast and him had to leave while others cleaned that up. Mike did. R.I.P. Pizza Mike. On that shoot, uh, when we all woke up the next day, uh, I had to go into a car with Jimmy and go home uh, with him, uh, and then everybody else had to stay behind and clean up. His friend and Jake the Viking, who's a scumbag trans transphobic, trying to clean up everything, and Jake the Viking decides to uh, say this, oh, let's just, uh, let's just throw everything off board, uh, like into a national park. Viking said, fuck that. Let's just throw all of this over the side of the mountain. You know, like littering in a, in a national park. And, uh, and uh, that's so fucking weird. It's why would you do that? Just do it. I I am a person that likes. I if I have some if I eat something while I'm going for a walk or something, when I'm done with it, I put it in my pocket because if I can't find a trash bin and wear the clothes, I just put it in my pocket. People who trash nature are scum. And his friend who is a based little shit says, no, this is not gonna happen. But Jake the Viking does this anyway. And my good dear friend who I kept saying was one of the good people over there said, you're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna let you do that. And Viking said, watch me. And he did it. And uh, I don't, it's, it's kind of impressive to be able to litter over two miles, uh, voice correct, two miles worth of litter uh, in one fell swoop. That's very impressive, Viking. So, Jake the Viking does this in an instant. Whoa, he's, 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 he's got super speed now. But this man, this based man, <sighs> defies the fucking shithead that is the Jake the Viking and does try to stop him, but Jake the Viking does that anyway. And this man just picks up everything he can, so it's less stuff in nature. But my friend gathered up all the stuff he could everything he had the capacity to carry just to make sure there was just that much less litter. And this man falls down and breaks his ankle, I believe. And that's just, that, I, we can sue for that because it's so shitty. This man is a saint. Hey, the Viking is a shit at. Now that I talk about, uh, right, digging out dirt with the uh, PI's private investigators. It was rumored that Mr. Beast's team was using private investigators to uh, dig up dirt on Dog Pack and uh, other people that uh, did him wrong. And I also want to touch a little bit about the, uh, the, the PI thing, the private investigator thing. Again, 
I mentioned this in my last video. Dogpack posted that one of his inside sources uh, was claiming that they were hiring PIs uh, to dig up dirt on him specifically for the purpose of discrediting him. And Rosanna has publicly said that her inside source said that they're paying people to make stuff up about her, to discredit her. Uh, and it's just shitty because you're, you're digging up dirt with your eyes and it's digging and there's digging up dirt with the uh, people you pay being on your side with biased because you give them money, yay. And the Rosanna, a very good person that uh, was the person that got uh, edited out in the Mr. Beast uh, hide and seek video. He said her inside sources are saying that ma many people make stuff about her to discredit. And, uh, and Jake here, he just devalues the argument. But just to let you guys know, this is a warning shot and I do not send two. Don't tell no lies about me, Dogpack, and Rosanna. And I won't tell no truths about six or seven of you guys over there. People are your shitty. You dig up dirt with your eyes, not dig up dirt with paid people. It's that simple. And and, and this man, he's so unhinged. It's so fucking amazing. I love I love Jake Weddle. Please subscribe to him. I beg. I know I thought if this video ever decides to become viral, please subscribe to Jake Weddle. Here's his uh, YouTube and I will link it down in the description. Subscribe to him and uh, thank you for watching and I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. Possibly. Catch out of bag.